Health News tonight, Yale researchers have now linked some genetic mutations to autism. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa has more on what this means for families with children living with autism. 12-year-old Aaron Eiffel isn't shy talking about being diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. I just say I don't have autism, I live with it. Aaron is among more than 2,000 children in Connecticut living with it. Autism is like brain, like you can't talk that well or, or you're kind of disabled or you can't do some stuff. But that's pretty much it. But research has done a lot to help people understand autism. The latest includes a study from Yale researchers at this laboratory. You're looking at um, uh, traces that show the sequence of the DNA. They found that genetic mutations at conception are linked to autism. They would look down and see where there was a situation in which both of the parents did not have the mutation, but then the child, the affected child, did have the mutation, and then we would see it in that trace. Dr. Matthew State is the senior author of the study. They determined that about 15 percent of autism cases in families with a single autistic child are associated with the spontaneous mutations. Now that we've been able to find them, we, we know that there are maybe a thousand different spots around the genome that any one of them, if they get hit by a spontaneous mutation, could increase the risk for autism. The data also showed the older the parent, the higher risk of that happening. But Dr. State is quick to point out that does not explain the rise of autism cases. Instead, he says it gives a clearer understanding of what's going on at the genetic level. If we understood autism the way that we understood hypertension or cancer, we would be able to treat autism as effectively as we can treat hypertension and we're now able to treat cancer. Information that Aaron's mother welcomes. Families can get interventions at a much earlier age. Um, there's so many resources available to us, especially here in Connecticut. While the study's results translated into a slight increase in the risk of autism, Dr. State says the next step really is to focus on how to develop new treatments using the information now available. Back to you.